Chris Lawrence, this month, Dallas police responded to 38 homicides. And as WFAA's Ariel Placencia reports, those murders have put a short staff department in a bigger bind. Jacob Contreras. Today would have been his 23rd birthday. Brandon Maps, the baby of the family who loved Tupac. Nicholas Blake Edwards, an avid fan of karaoke. And Gina Elder, a 40 year old mother of four. These are four people who died by homicidal violence this month. But there are 34 others, an alarming trend that has DPD making changes. I have increased the homicide unit to 22 detectives, and that's effective immediately. We know the department is already short about 600 officers. So where are these additional detectives coming from? DPD says the cold case unit. They still will be working cold cases. Part of their job responsibility is to help with homicides. I took four of my non-fatal shooting team detectives, and they are now working with homicide. So will other units be affected? No, ma'am, it won't. While in theory, it may not lead to any uh, losses or reductions in those other units, time will tell if that will be the case. Looking at the big picture, violent crime is up across the board in the city of Dallas. The first four months of 2019 saw a 50% increase in homicides when compared to the same time frame last year. Assaults were up 88%, Robberies were up 151 percent. You also have to remember the city of Dallas is growing uh, and then there are a lot more people going out to different kinds of places. In just the last 24 hours, our city saw four more homicides. And as families wait for justice, the Dallas Police Department continues to investigate the reason behind this deadly month. Most of the homicides right now are happening at an argumental conflict. Well, it begins as an argument, then it escalates into a homicide. We've solved a great deal of them, but we haven't solved all of them, and we need help. So 38 homicides is bad enough, but it's actually 40 for the month of May, and here's why. Dallas police is now classifying two cases that happened a few years ago as homicides. Now, overall crime numbers for May should be released sometime next week, so we'll get an even better sense of just how bad this month really was. Chris? All right, sounds pretty bad already. Thanks, Ariel.